أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم من همزه ونفخه ونفسه الله أكبر كبيرا الحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله بكرة واصيلا لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله جز الله عنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعنا ما هو أحله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ذو الفضل والإكرام وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد عبد الله ورسوله خير من سام وقام لربه بالليل والناس نيام اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ولا من تبعهم إحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأوصيكم بباب الله ونفس بتقوى الله والمسعرة الأعمال الصالحة للفوز بمغفرة وجنة قال الله تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال جل جلاله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما الحمد لله great blessings of الله سبحانه وتعالى Again, he has gathered us here, alhamdulillah, in this month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, some of us, all of us, maybe we're trying to say farewell to Ramadan. It's sad. It is sad. It's very sad. But Ramadan, Ramadan has given us something, alhamdulillah. It will, it will go all the way up until next Ramadan. Go all the way up to Ramadan. I praise you. All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, the compeller, the compeller, the powerful, all powerful, prevailing, He alternates the night and day, and everything with Him. Everything with Him is by due measure, by due measure. He created the sun and the moon to follow their precise courses, and He made the time periods containers for the deeds. We praise Him for His blessings and favors. And we are grateful for His best tools and beneficiaries. He created His servants and tested, and tested them. And He elevated and dignified them through His deen, through His religion. And on the day of resurrection, the judgment day, He will judge and recompense all of us for what we have done in this world. Allah, the Almighty, He commanded His servants and messengers not to finish an act of worship until He engaged with another one. Continuation. Continuation. One after the other. You finish this, look for something else. Make sure that you have connected, your connection has been established with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such that, the, 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 that you, you completely immerse yourself in the worship of Allah. A worship of Almighty Allah Jalla Jalaluhu in your life. <coughs> so my respect to brothers of Islam. Ramadan. Ramadan is a reservoir. Reservoir of Iman and faith. Everything is in Ramadan, our Iman. So much and so, so much and so. It's filled up. It's a reservoir. Of taqwa, the consciousness of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa, purification of the souls. Correcting behaviors and learning the rights. Every believer reaped from Ramadan what he drew. The successful is the one who fulfills his pact with Allah Jalla Jalalu subhanahu wa ta'ala and does good in the remaining months 
as, as he did good in this month, the month of Ramadan. Because you worship him. He worships Allah, the exalted, and he does not worship Ramadan. We don't worship Ramadan. Ramadan is here for, for us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is mandatory to worship Allah in all times, places, and circumstances, whatever they are. We will definitely miss Ramadan. We will definitely miss Ramadan and fasting its days and praying during its nights and connecting to the Quran, remembering and supplicating to Allah Jalla Jalaluhu the Almighty, fulfilling the rights and obligations and performing acts of kindness. For indeed, who learn from the Ramadan that we are able to perform these worships no matter how busy we are, how, no matter how busy we get, how much responsibilities we have, and the right of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu the Almighty upon us is the greatest right or how much responsibilities we have. So my respect to brothers and sisters Islam, for He, Allah Jalla Jalalu, is our creator, our provider, our sustainer, and ordainer. He is ordainer, He orders. And He is the one who recompenses us for all of our, our, our needs. And we are His servants, and are in servitude to him at all times, at all times. So my respect to brothers is Islam, and he ordained for us the voluntary fast and the voluntary night prayers and so on. And he established that we shall pray with our salah every night and we sleep except for those who pray voluntary prayers during the night, the last part of the night, the tahajjud. So my respect to Brother Sister Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Auzubillahi min ash-shaytani, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun, liyaddabbiru ayatihi wa la yatazakkarahu al-baab. He says, this is a blessed book which has, which have we have revealed to you in the dunya month of Ramazan. And they might reflect upon its verses and that those understanding would be reminded. And we did this whole month. How many times we have picked up the Quran in this month, Alhamdulillah. Every time we think about it, we go to masjid, we go home, let me pick up the copy of the Quran. Let me read it, even one verse or one ayat. And we did, Alhamdulillah. We did. Because this Quran was revealed in this month. Blessings came from. So, you obeyed the command of Allah Almighty. And, he, and you devoted yourself to His worship. So, my respect to Brother Islam, be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey Him always. And persist in performing righteous deeds for the dearest deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jalla Jalalahu, the Almighty, are those done constantly. Constantly, not just during Ramadan. Constantly, even if they are few. And beware of abandoning deeds after Ramadan. It's not that Ramadan is over, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I don't have to worry about any more prayers, any more going to the masjid, any more things that I used to do. No, they didn't get any 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 any, any fruits from Ramadan. It was the space space for you that you all month went through. Remember the first before Ramadan started and said there are five six things that you're going to get from Ramadan. Number one, you, I, I, told, I reminded, reminded you this, I'm going to remind you again that our intentions, clearing our intentions, yes, I have an intention to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the day I die completely, all the time, all the time. My intention is to do everything good to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything. And we learn worship, remember, in this month of Ramadan, we will learn how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we went through. And this was a training period. It's a rigorous, it was a rigorous training period. We used to get up in the morning, still we do, and we'll learn another day or two. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Pick up the Quran, read, give charity, give money, look after him, look after him. Bring the food, help each other, talk good with each other. No wishy washy things. Everything comes from truth from your mouth. No lying, no cheating, no harming someone. Everything is calmed down. We learn. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And we relied on, remember I talked about reliance. We relied upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawakkul to Allah. And we learned that. How can we rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is this my, my life? Is everything belongs to me? Or something that is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yes, I rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the decisions that, that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Duas. How many duas did we make in this month? How many things that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month? And this was an opportunity for us. Allah Akbar, Allah gave this opportunity to us. We learned how to make dua. We learned how to beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We learned how to cry. Many of us must have cried. The tears came from our eyes. Probably they never have tried to have cried before. But in the month of Ramazan, probably they got up in the morning. Oh Allah, I'm going through this situation. It is not in my hand to, to solve this and you are the only one. And you cried. The tears were coming from your eyes. And that's not Lord. And we learn this in Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. Ramadan is our friend. Our brother. It will stay with us. It's not going to go away. But he has given us certain things. If you do those things, it, this will be with you all year long. So my respect to brothers and sisters, uh, be conscious of Allah Almighty and obey. And persist in performing righteous deeds always and deeds, deeds to Allah Almighty. And those done constantly, even if they are few, and beware of ab ab abandoning those deeds, what you have done in the month of Ramadan. For a person does not know when his term will finish. Never know. Never know. Many brothers were here last year, they are not here. And we are not sure that we will be here next year. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us safe and sound and give us many, many opportunities to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But certainty, it's not guaranteed. It is there for us. For every one of us have to go through. So, Islam our deen, it is a continual, continual servitude to Allah. Continual servitude to Allah. It stays with a person from the age of accountability until the grave. His connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla jalaluhu does not go away except, except if he deviates himself and strays from the path from Ahidina Surat al Salam to him. But it will not go away. During these days, the month of Ramazan, these days it has permitted our ears, our eyes, and lived it day by day and night by night. And it finished with what people accrued of deeds. So, therefore, those who did good, and those who fell short, those who did much, and those who did little, those who were accepted, and those who were rejected. And tomorrow, there will be a accounting and the doers of whatever they have done, whatever the shortcoming you had, whatever it is. But tomorrow is the day that we will be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recompense for all what we have done. So, the month of Ramazan, it is a warehouse. You know, the warehouse, when you go to warehouse, it's full of stuff. Everything is just it's a lot of stock. And the Ramazan is a warehouse full of Iman. Full of Iman. And rever reverence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A storage of Iman. You draw from there, make your iman strong. And people take from it their supply for the whole year, not just month of Ramazan, for the whole year. So there are those who take a full share from it, and there are those who watch the people taking and do nothing more than watching. There are some people too. There are some brothers, there are some believers probably didn't even fast. There are some believers who didn't even do what is supposed to the month of Ramadan. There are some, there are some people who don't even care about the month of Ramadan. 
So many of us repented from our mistakes. And we promise Allah Almighty that we will not return to disobedience again. After having tasted the sweetness to turn into Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, the Almighty. That repentance, submission to Allah Almighty, supplication and reciting the Quran all the time. And we constantly attended the congregational, congregational prayers. Every time, all the things, oh, this is time for Salat. We attended, we did that. We rushed into into Salat. And sought the first row. I'm going to be in the first row. I'm going to be in the first row. They listened to the verses during the night and recited it during the day. Yeah, I heard this last night. This is what Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala was talking about. I'm going to recite it in the daytime. I'm going to memorize this. I want to find out the meaning of this. What is Allah is telling me? What He is commanding me? And we went through this. Such a good moments we had. MashaAllah, Allah, Alhamdulillah. It's so good feelings in our heart. So this is a month of blessings. It's kind of hiding from us for a little while. But it is with us. It is with us. going to go away from us. What we have learned, what we have practiced during the month of Ramadan, continuation. If you do this every year, all year long, that means that Ramadan is with us. I learned it. I went through the training period rigorously. I got up in the morning, four o'clock. I worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I had the best breakfast in my life. And I had the best meals after I break fast. Best ones. So much and so that I don't see this all year long, but I have seen it in the Ramadan. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. What a feelings we had. Alhamdulillah. So, we learned many things. We learned how to read Quran. We learned how to make dua. We learned how to have our tabakkul reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We learned how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We learned many, many things. We are not going to let it go. We learned. And we learn how to give up our sleep too. <laughs> we learn how to learn. We learn how to give up our sleep too. We stop sleeping seven, eight hours. We slept only three, four hours. Some people slept only two hours. They had to go to work in the morning, but they did. All of these things made respect. So, in Ramadan, displays of kindness, abundant through meals provided for fasting people, and sensing the needs of needy. And offering the obligatory zakat and follow it with a voluntary charity. And the fasting person felt the hunger of his poor brother and knew their needs. I feel hungry. Well, this is temporary for a day or for a couple of hours. But think about the one who is feeling this hunger for a long period of time days, weeks, and months they are going through with this hunger. And we felt that. Is it that something that Allah SWT wants us to realize? And this is what we did. So, and last is the great sweetness of performing acts of kindness towards them and introducing joy to them by giving sadaqah, charity, zakat, many things, love, affections to the families and children. So, we want joy increase through giving more charity and performing more acts of kindness. And this is time of giving. We wish to own all that is on the earth to be able to give even more and more to our brothers and sisters who are needed in the other part of the world. So my respect to brothers and sisters Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran Ma ma min yawmin yusbihu al-ibadu fihi illa malakani yanzilani yanzilani faqulu ahaduhuma Allahumma aati munfiqan khalafa wa yaqulu al-akhar Allahumma aati munsikan talafa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said over the law and who reported this, this hadith. Every day, two angels descend, and the one of them says, Oh Allah, compensate more to 
to this person who gives a charity. Compensate more to this person, the one who gives charity. While the other one says, Oh Allah, destroy the one who withholds charity. In the month of Ramadan, we learn how to give charity. We need to keep up with it. All year long, giving. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us so much and so much and so much blessings. He wants us to give, give it to others. Take care of the others. Offering zakat is a purification for the community. And purification and growing their wealth. And blessings follow it for performing this pillar of Islam, our deen. Then Allah says in one place, خُزُوا مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ صَدَقَةٌ صَدَقَةٌ تُتَحِّرُهُمْ وَتُزَكِّيهُمْ بِهَا Says, take from their wealth a charity to purify them and sanctify them with it. And if every person purified and blessed his wealth through offering zakah, the zakat and fitr, zakat and mal, Sadaqah and all of those would encompass all the people and their sustenance would, would satisfy them. If we, all of us, give that, that zakat and sadaqah and charity, what we were supposed to do, no Muslim will remain hunger in this world. No Muslim will look for anything from, from anywhere else. We will all be rich. Allah has given Muslims so much assets. So much money, so much and so much and so much that everybody will fell short. Everybody. None, none has more than what Muslims have. But it is hiding. It is hidden. That is why Allah subhanahu wa reminds us in the Quran. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa reminds us through the hadith that it is so important to give. Give. Allah is waiting for you to give. Allah will give you more. 10 times, 70 times, 700 times, multiple folds. We don't even know how much he's going to give you. But he wants you to give. Take a time. Removing the rights of Allah from the wealth, whether obligatory or subrogatory, is the greatest way to bless it. And our Prophet and he informed, he said that, Ma naqasat Charity does not diminish wealth. Rasulullah said, Charity, whatever you give, it will not diminish wealth. So, and from the most important means of establishing security and removing fear and, and, and combating crime in, in offering zakat, because it closes the gap between the poor and the wealthy. And it leads to affinity and affection between them. And it cleanses the hearts of the poor from animosity, grudges that they have against, against the wealthy people. They will never say this man is, is, is just a tight water. He doesn't want to give away. No. They will say, no, I, I have good feelings about you in my heart. You give me. You take care of me. So, one of the greatest means of building social harmony is in Islam, in our deen, is through giving and spending. Giving and spending. The more you give, the more loss. That's what Ramadan is here, it's teaching us. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in other place, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, mimma razaqnaakum min qabli an yakti yawmu la biyafihi wa la kullatu wa la shafa'a. He says that, O oh, you who believe, Oh, who, who, one who have believed. Oh, you have believed. He said, spend. Spend from that which we have provided you. Provided for you. Before there comes a day in which there is no exchange. The day comes, there is no exchange. That is ransom. And no friendship. No intercession. And the disbelievers... They are the wrongdoers. So it's time for us. Those who spend their wealth in Allah's way by night and day, 
secretly and publicly they will have their reward with their sustainer with their rabb and no fear no fear will there be concerning them nor will they grieve on that day so allah has given us all of these things and spending the way of allah almighty is one of the biggest challenges that's where shaitan comes he grabs you you try to hold your wallet don't 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 open up don't get it out don't pull it out it is for you keep it with me so that's where the shaitan and our nafs always so make sure we fail shaitan by putting our hands in our pocket and pulling things out this is from allah where did it come from from allah it is not mine it came from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if i give allah said for me 10 times 70 times 700 times multiple folds will be coming to me that is what relies upon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawakkal wa allah and we learn the thing about the process we learn how to make intentions we learn how to make worship to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we learn how to rely upon allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have hopes in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tawakkal wa allah and we made dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of ramadan من ذا الذي يقرض الله قرضا حسنا فيضاعفه فيضاعف فيضاعفه له اضعافا كثيره والله يقبض ويبسط اليه واليه يرجع هو ايز ذات هو ايز ات ذات جود لون اوف الله ا جودلي لون الله از اسكينج اس كوماندنج اس هو ايز ذير از اني بادي اوت ذير هو كان لون اوف الله سبحانه وتعالى هو ايز ذير who can loan a goodly loan so he may allah may multiply it for him many times over and it is allah who withholds and grants abundance and to him you will be returned this is one of the most the one of the most criteria uh, in our religion of islam by which a person's iman is measured is by charity our iman is measured in islam in our deen is by charity because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said was sadaqatu burhan was sadaqatu burhan and charity it is the proof that is the proof how much have you given out how much did you take care of others how much did you take care of yourself and this will be question of the day so in the month of ramazan You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to give charity all the time but in the month of Ramadan he was so open he used to give lot more more so, so this is something that we have learned and we need to keep up with it all of these things we learned in the in the month of Ramadan as we started out that the month was coming before I reminded you that these are the things that will come up to you you will go through your training period you will have a rigorous training period you lose your sleep huh? many many things will happen to you and you will be a very humble person lovely humble person and ramzan will teach you how many times you talk bad up to someone how many times you have anger everything you swallowed he said no 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 i'm fasting i will, I will do this to you huh? how many times people came to you and you said no get out from here now you always put your hand in your pocket and help them how many times do you bring the food to the masjid think about it what are the good things that you have done and this is what ramadan is after that and ramadan is with us it's not our leaves even though we think the month is over month is over we didn't worship the month we worship allah but ramadan teaches taught us it teaches us yes you don't worship me you worship allah So may respect to Rasul Islam we have a good feelings also we have sad feelings but we have to combine our feelings together and make it as a good feelings whether you are with me or not but i will be with you you are not gone anywhere you are at my home i sleep with you i get up with you i eat with you i walk with you because i learn 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله توكلت على الله بسم الله وعلى بركة الله اللهم عسوك غدا لك فاغف لما قدمت وما أخلت اللهم إني أسألك من فضلك I used to go to the bathroom put my left foot اللهم إني أعوذك من الخبث والخبائث I learned I get out I'm fasting أفرانك Yes, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for relieving this pain that I was going through. Allahumma bismika amount to where before I sleep I make dua to Allah. All of this is we learn. Allahu Akbar, it is with us. And when you do this practice continuously all year long, Ramadan is with you. And if you forget it, then it's gone, it's over. But remember, the certainty that will come. It is there for us anytime. So my respect to brothers and sisters, one more thing I want to say and then stop here. Many of us were very honored. We had very honor to our parents. And to introduce joy to them by calling them and sitting with them in this month of Ramazan. We, are, we tried our best to call our parents, to sit with them, to talk to them. We secured the pleasure of our parents that they had previously been initiated to, to do to our preoccupation with worldly affairs and the needs of their, our families and children. So, we resolved to allocate time for our parents and to designate specific times to sit with them and not to miss or delay it no matter what happens to us. So, take care of our parents, our parents. Even if you have one parent left, either father or mother, take care of them. Don't let it go. Regardless of their faith, whatever they are doing, it's up to them. But make sure your heart is clear for your parents. Clear. Open yourself for them. Don't look at their faces. Don't look at their actions. But look at what they have done to you. What they have done to you. How they raised you. On the day, they will stand for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you have done something wrong, they will complain. So my respect to brothers and sisters, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُوا إِلَّا إِجْيَاءُ بِالْبَالِدَيْنِ إِخْسَانًا That says, and your Lord has decreed that you worship not accept Him and to parents a good treatment. Always give good treatment to your parents. Just as Allah the Exalted commanded us to be kind to people, those far from, far, those far from us and those close to us and our Almighty, our Rabb, our Sustainer has ordered that the rights of those closer to us, such as the parents, relatives and neighbors and, and, and are, are, are great. So take care of them, whatever you can. And you learn this in the month of Ramazan. So my respect brothers and sisters, these are things that I wanted to talk to you. So inshallah, don't be sad. Nothing to, nothing is gone, nothing is over. It is the days, that, but I feel bad that I'm, I fast every day, I get up every morning. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a fasting, the voluntary fasting is coming up. During the month of the horror, during the month of Hajj, you know, all of this, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa used to fast three days a month, at least, you know. And he used to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. And if you can, it is not obligatory, but you can. Yes, in Ramadan, I used to have good feelings of fasting. I'm going to fast on Monday, fast on maybe Thursday, fast maybe three days in a month. Huh? And these things are coming up. So, uh, fasting in the month of Shawwal is coming up after Ramadan. Six days of Shawwal. Continue. Islam, the, the deeds need to be continued. Continuously, we need to, if we do that, then what happens? Uh, we will remember the month. Yes, I learned this. So, we ask Allah subhanahu wa Almighty to accept our deeds in Ramadan. Our fasting, our prayers, our recitations, our supplications, charity, acts of kindness that we have done and to help us maintain the momentum of Ramadan. Indeed, He is all hearing and answering. So, I say what I have been heard, what I have heard, and I seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jalla jalalu for me and you from the every, from every sin. So, seek forgiveness from Him. Allah jalla jalalu. Verily, He is after forgiving and most merciful. Aqulu, aqulu ma tasma'una wa
واستغفر الله لي ولكم ومن كل ذنب فاستغفروه انه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين ولا التابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد فاوصيكم بعباد الله ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل ايها المسلون هذا وصل وسلم على من امرتم بالصلاه والسلام والسلام عليه وقال تعالى ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على عبدك ورسولك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ورضى الله عن الخلفاء الراشدين ابي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وان سائر الصحابه اجمعين والتابعين لهم تابعين باحسان الى يوم الدين اللهم وفقنا لفي الخير والاحسان وتقبل من وتقبله منا يا كريم يا منان اللهم انا نسالك من الخير كله عاجله واجله ونسالك الجنه لنا ولوالدنا ولمن له حق علينا وللمسلمين اجمعين اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الاحياء منهم والاموات انك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات ويا قاضي الحاجات يا ويا رافي الدرجات يا قاضي الحاجات ويا كافي المقيمات ويا دافي الوليات يا حل المشكلات يا قسنا 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 يا الهي انك على كل شيء قدير لا اله الا الله الحليم الكريم سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين نسالك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والسلامة من كل اسم والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم اجرنا من النار اللهم اجرنا من النار اللهم اجرنا من النار اللهم لا تجعلنا ذنبا الا غفرته ولا هما الا فرجته ولا دينا الا قضيته ولا مريضا الا شفيته ولا مظلوما الا نصرته ولا ميتا الا رحمته وغفرته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة الا قضيتها يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوحاب اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا عفو اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا الله شهر لا إله إلا الله نستغفر الله نسألك الجنة يا إلهي وعوذك من النار ربنا تقبل منا انك انت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا انك انت التواب الرحيم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك ونشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك عباد الله ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فذكروا الله فذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزيدكم واقيموا الصلاه ان الصلاه تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله اكبر الله يعلم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته